There you go. You can make them cut right out here. How are you doing this? Just like this. Just like that. There's a corner. Touch the corner. It's slide. But your tip is done this way. When I make it sharp at the tip, I mean it's sharp right at the tip. Even your bread knife, this will blow you away. For a serrated edge blade. Then we just brush. That's sharp. Tired of throwing away all your cutting tools when the blades become dull? Restore their edge quickly and easily instead with the Sharpen Spark and sharpen over 44 types of home, work, and recreational knives, scissors, and garden tools. Go to sharpensbest.com. Hey, wouldn't it be nice to have a product that really works? You know what I mean, really works? Uh, you know, just happen to have one here. Sharpen Spark, check it out. It really works. Buy one, sharpensbest.com. Every day. Millions of us use devices, instruments, and utensils designed to make our lives easier. And often, when things like our kitchen knives or pruning shears become dull, we simply discard and replace them with another. But what if we were to discover the easy and accessible art of home sharpening? Learning how to sharpen a wide variety of home, work, and recreational knives, scissors, and garden tools can save money, resources, and time. Because you go through your life using all kinds of tools, no matter where they are, whether you're recreation or work or just around home, and things get dull. If you use them, they get dull. It's all there is to it. Sharpening them yourself instead of having to buy new ones or get them sharpened by somebody else is really important because you just get the job done. You continue on with what you're doing. Believe me, you can't sharpen things without the education. An avid outdoorsman with over 60 years of tool experience under his belt, Brad has created and pioneered mass production of the world's best knife sharpener and fire starter, the Sharp and Spark. Lightweight, pocketable, and indestructible, the Sharp and Spark is made from the hardest metal on earth, tungsten carbide and nylon, and can sharpen over 44 types of blades. It's great for hunting, hiking, camping, fishing, work, home, gardening, and recreation. It's made out of better carbides, made out of a harder nylon. The quality is just impeccable. They don't break, they don't wear out, they don't come apart. And you get a lot of teaching on how to use it. You get an education. One thing that really separates my sharpener from the others is education. I teach people how to use it. I have about 75 videos on YouTube that you can watch. I will spend enough time to make sure the person understands how to use it. It really is important to have the sharpener in your pocket with you when you're doing your work. Specializing in education, Brad offers knife sharpeners, flashlights, and the best American-made survival and pack stoves on the market. We basically want a tool that's going to work in your situation. My mission statement, I guess, would be this. You know, teach people how to use tools that benefit their life in the best way. Throughout the year, you can find Brad showcasing and demonstrating the full line of Sharpen's Best products at gun shows, boat, sport, and RV shows, self-reliance shows, fishing expos, and home and garden shows all across the country. I get people that carry pocket knives and they say, I don't really use it. I say, how do you sharpen it? And they say, well, to tell you the truth, I don't know anything about sharpening. And so when you actually show them right there, and when I do what I call like the magic trick, 45 seconds their knife is sharp, and they stand there and they just look and they're baffled. And they'll say, you know what, I'm going to go home and sharpen all my stuff. And you look at them, it's like, they never thought of that. Why? They don't know how to sharpen, but they do now. I get people that walk by my table, they hold up one of the sharpeners and say, this is the best invention of the 21st century. Okay, that says a lot. I get people say, I wouldn't be caught anywhere without my sharpener. They hold it up and show me. I hear people all the time say, I have no idea how to sharpen. Try it. Watch my videos. You know, look, learn, listen. Just watch the videos. You'll be sharpening things in no time. And quite frankly, it's a lot of fun and it's very gratifying to actually see that you can sharpen things. Maybe you're 50 years old, you never sharpened anything. Believe it or not, it feels good to sharpen the tools instead of lay them down and go, I don't know, buy another one. 
Don't throw away your cutting tools. Restore their edge quickly and easily instead. Learn more about the whole family of knife sharpeners and fire starters from Sharpen's Best. Doesn't break, wear out, or come apart. It just works. For more information on our entire family of knife sharpeners and fire starters, go to sharpensbest.com. You know, in, in the end, it's really simple. There's a lot of knife sharpeners out there, uh, you know, on the market. And if you don't believe me, go into a sportsman's warehouse and take a look. There's about 50 knife sharpeners, ranging from eh, 3 or 4 or $5 to a real cheap one to $150, $200. Why should you buy mine? It's real simply. Uh, put there's a family of four the littlest one. Okay, then there's a rectangle a long handle and a sharpened spark They're all small. They're all pocketable. You take them with you. They're lightweight. They're inexpensive. They're durable They last this is kind of like a generational thing. You don't lose this the carbide's not going to wear out Give it to your kids your grandkids, you know things like that pocketable goes everywhere with you 43 different types of things and blades that I can sharpen. You know, I mean like axes, hatchets, hose, shovels, planter blades, draw knives, all your pruners, hedge trimmers, grass trimmers, side dikes, tin snips, serrated edge blades, scissors, okay, just goes on and on. Buy the uh, Handy Sharp, okay, on sharpensbest.com. Take a look at the YouTube videos, decide which one you want, learn how to use it. That's why you buy Handy Sharp from sharpensbest.com. Hi, this is Brad with Sharpens Best. We have a new product and it's called the uh, Sharpen Spark Mini and it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's got a, a couple of, uh, it's got one extra thing on it, but there's two features about it um, that are really cool. So this is the $35 set. You get the rectangular one and the mini, the Sharpen Spark Mini. So we dumped that out of there and first thing I'm going to show you is, is it does have a bottle opener right here on the end. Then instead of uh, being longer, they fatten the head a little bit put the spark clear up in, shortened it. So actually, we'll stand them up here right side by side. And the new one's about an inch and a half shorter than the original Sharpen Sparks. And this is called the Mini, Sharpen Spark Mini. And so you do have a little bit shorter. I take this right off here, the key ring, and then it's very pocketable. It does have the bottle opener in the end right here. It still has the reshaper, the sharpener, and then in the handle, just like the big one, we have the spark. It's called ferrocerium rod. It's actually six different types of rare metals. So we do have the uh, spark in the handle. It's got paint on it, so we'll wear some of the paint off. And there's your sparks. And it's called the Sharpen Spark Mini. Kind of a cute little thing. Goes right in your pocket. You can reshape a blade by drawing it through the V. I use the open face and the two corners most. And then we have an emergency tool on the end of it. Well, what's the emergency tool? Well, bottle opener. Sharpen Spark Mini. Come to YouTube, Sharpen Spark. Take a look. You'll like them, just like our other products. This is Brad, sharpensbest.com. Take care and have a good day. Specializing in education, Brad offers knife sharpeners, flashlights, and the best American-made survival and pack stoves on the market. We basically want a tool that's going to work in your situation. My mission statement, I guess, would be this. You know, teach people how to use tools that benefit their life in the best way. Okay, that's a Buck 119. That's a brand new knife. It's got a, a bone handle on it. A friend of mine makes these. Now this knife, new, didn't cut like this, but I tune them up. And if you can make a knife cut like that, clear out to the tip, let me cut that off. If you can cut like this, that's sharp. Paper's a strange thing, it's tough, but it's also flimsy. Buck 119. Hi, this is Brad. How you doing? I'd like to show you how to make a fire with a sharpened spark mini, okay, and just a little accelerant on a little bit of grass down in a hole in a rock, and it's going to look just like this.
And all you gotta do is put a little bit of sticks and stuff on top of it. Next thing you know, you got your nice fire. And if you find a little hole in a rock, you got a little uh, fire pit right there. Take care, have a good day. This is Brad. Go to YouTube, watch our videos, Sharpen's Best. And you know, just learn how to how to sharpen things, different things. You know, enjoy the scenery, enjoy the fun. I travel a lot, good scenery. Uh, YouTube sharpens best. This is Brad, take care, have a good day. Because you go through your life using all kinds of tools, no matter where they are, whether you're recreation or work or just around home. And things get dull. If you use them, they get dull. That's all there is to it. Sharpening them yourself instead of having to buy new ones or get them sharpened by somebody else is really important because you just get the job done. You continue on with what you're doing. Believe me, you can't sharpen things without the education. <laughs>this is Brad with Sharpens Best out here in Denver, south of uh, Denver proper uh, to a really nice park and just doing some sharpening, doing a little bit of filming. Uh, sharpening a knife uh, with the newest one, it's called the uh, Mini Sharpen Spark and it's got a bottle opener in the handle, it's got a reshaper, that would be the V right here that I don't use very much, got the open face. The open face is actually two 90 degree corners, this is flat, you got a corner there and a corner on the other side and maybe you can see it if I point right at it right there. And that's tungsten carbide. Tungsten carbide happens to be the hardest metal on earth. So when you sharpen a knife, you don't come up here and, and, and rip at it, you know, just like that. It'd be more like this right here. I'll slow down so you can see it a little bit better. And it is just the corner of the sharpener touching the cutting edge of the knife. So to sharpen a knife, you match the bevel, okay, it might be 15, 20, 25 degrees. Then let it turn about oh, 45 degrees or 45 degrees this way and then just start brushing. I use my leg for a bench or a table and then work on the radius and on the tip just like that. Bring it right out here and work on the tip. Work on it this way. I can make tips of knives sharper than just about anybody because if you're using a stone, you're, you're coming in here like that and you got the angle and to worry about. And with mine, I just brush along like that and it falls right off the tip of the blade. So it's just a natural occurrence. So let's see, this is the knife actually that's on uh, a lot of videos. So let's see, a little bit uh, thicker cover on this magazine. Oop, I, got, I got two pieces of paper there anyway, so let's do it this way. Tear that off of there. You know, if you can cut that easy right out to the tip, or on the body of the blade, anywhere on the blade, and cut that easy, it's plenty sharp enough for a hunting knife. It, you know, if you want to demo sharper, 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 you have to get thinner and thinner. I don't want my knives that thin. That's pretty sharp. If you can just come along there like that, slice that paper right off. This is Brad, sharpensbest.com. Take a look on our YouTube videos, Sharpens Best YouTube. Uh, just enjoy the videos. This is Brad, take care, have a good day. Tired of throwing away all your cutting tools when the blades become dull? Restore their edge quickly and easily instead with the Sharpen Spark and sharpen over 44 types of home, work, and recreational knives, scissors, and garden tools. Go to sharpensbest.com. All right, Brad, as we hit the road again to another Sharpen's Best convention, again, explain to me the importance of what you do and, and really how you got into it. Well, the importance of what I do is education, and why education? You know how many people go to the big box stores and they buy sharpeners? Nobody explains how to use it. The person buys it, they walk out. You know, a couple days later they say, another piece of crap that doesn't work. Well, it probably works. So education is important. And how did I get into what I do? Well, uh, same thing I tell everybody. I think God let me meet the guy who, uh, you know, started it all with me, and that was Dennis Hancock. Uh, you know, I bought a sharpener, next thing you know I take it to a gun show, I see how well it does. Uh, I'm tired of being a welder, fitter, fabricator at that time, I was 36 years. Uh, and it was just time to get out and I'm getting older, you know, and I'm thinking, wow, this works, I'm going to get out of the welding. Uh, and that's how I got into the sharpening business, the knife sharpeners and some sharpening. So here we are now, and it's becoming now nationally and even world famous. People from around the world are now grabbing the sharpened spark, the long handle, the poker chip. But you're out to Wyoming now. It's good to get back home. Well, it is good to be back home because you know what? Uh, I, I travel a lot, a lot of fun places, a lot of fun in the sun, beaches, you know, Hawaii, Florida. 
Um, I go down to Arizona, go to Phoenix and stuff. But you know what? There's something about your eyes and your brain saying, I recognize this place. This is home. Familiar faces, family. Uh, you know, it's just good to be home. Uh, here's a little tidbit for you. Wyoming has more pronghorn antelope than anywhere else in the United States. And uh, we call them prairie maggots. <laughs> but it's just because there's so many of them. Good to be home. An avid outdoorsman with over 60 years of tool experience under his belt, Brad has created and pioneered mass production of the world's best knife sharpener and fire starter, the Sharp and Spark. Lightweight, pocketable, and indestructible, the Sharp and Spark is made from the hardest metal on earth, tungsten carbide and nylon, and can sharpen over 44 types of blades. It's great for hunting, hiking, camping, fishing, work, home, gardening, and recreation. It's made out of better carbides, made out of a harder nylon. The quality is just impeccable. They don't break, they don't wear out, they don't come apart. And you get a lot of teaching on how to use it. You get an education. One thing that really separates my sharpener from the others is education. I teach people how to use it. I have about 75 videos on YouTube that you can watch. I will spend enough time to make sure the person understands how to use it. It really is important to have the sharpener in your pocket with you when you're doing your work. Hi, I'm Brad Buckner with SharpensBest.com. You can go to YouTube, SharpensBest.com, watch our videos, okay? We have some uh, how-to on how to use the tools that I sell and just some fun travel stuff. Right now, I want to show you uh, the Sharpen Spark. Sharpen Spark, uh, it's called Sharpen Spark because on this end, you have a sharpener. You have the V-notch for faster shaping. Take off a little more metal faster. Um, you got to be careful with it because it is very aggressive. Then the other side you have right here, you have your two 90-degree uh, corners. 90-degree corner right there. You tip it over a little bit, 90-degree corner. That's what does the cutting. And uh, what I want to do today is I just want to see if I can rustle up some stuff here in the yard. Pick up some leaves, a little bit of grass, things like that. Use nothing but the spark, no accelerant, and see if I can make a fire. So we're going to look right now, and I see that right down here in this area, there's some leaves. And yes, they, they actually sound like they're kind of dry. So I'm just going to get a little handful of leaves here, and I'm going to bring it out. Uh, you know, I guess you should start a fire maybe on the concrete. So we're going to put the leaves down here. This is what we're going to use, sharpenspark.com. And now I'm going to find a little bit of grass. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this dry grass, kind of bunch it up a little bit. It's not real dry. I can feel a little bit of moisture in it and our leaves. And we make a little bit of a pile for the sparks to land in. Now we're going to unscrew the magnesium out of the handle. When you get these new, they don't spark real good because there's a black coating on them. We go through that coating. Now you can see the sparks. Let's see. Let's uh, peel off some magnesium. You almost can't scrape it easy enough. Yep, that, that's on fire. Sharpen spark, magnesium in the handle. Well, you won't freeze to death. Take care, I'm Brad Buckner, sharpensbest.com. Find us on YouTube, sharpensbest.com. Take care, have a good day. Great for camping, hunting, hiking, and fishing. The Sharpen Spark knife sharpener and fire starter saves money, resources, and time. Made from tungsten carbide and nylon, it's lightweight, pocketable, and indestructible. It just works. Go to sharpensbest.com. Put your kindling together, unscrew this out of the handle, put a little squirt of hand sanitizer in there, and do that. I'll do this 400 times a day, three days a week, and about six months down the road, I only have that much missing. So if you start a fire every day, 365 days a year, you're still not up to what I do in one day. And if you cheat and use hand sanitizer for an accelerant, you only need the tiniest little spark. Literally this much spark, like this, that's all.
Tired of throwing away all your cutting tools when the blades become dull? Restore their edge quickly and easily instead with the Sharpen Spark and sharpen over 44 types of home, work, and recreational knives, scissors, and garden tools. Go to sharpensbest.com. Hi, this is Brad with sharpensbest.com. People say, well, yeah, but what happens if they get wet? What if it's raining? Well, I don't know. Let's see. What if it gets wet? Uh, that's probably just about as wet as it's ever going to get. So let's just see right off the get-go. This is brand new. I haven't worked with it at all. It does have a little paint on there. And voila. What do you think? If it gets wet, plenty of sparks. It's a bright sunny day. I'm not positive you can see them, but I think you can. So we put it in there. We pull it out. Wet as it's going to get. I get people that carry pocket knives and they say, I don't really use it. And I say, how do you sharpen it? And they say, well, to tell you the truth, I don't know anything about sharpening. And so when you actually show them right there, and when I do what I call like the magic trick, 45 seconds their knife is sharp and they stand there and they just look and they're baffled. And they'll say, you know what? I'm gonna go home and sharpen all my stuff. And you look at them, it's like, they never thought of that. Why? They don't know how to sharpen, but they do now. We found this vintage flatware set at a rummage sale. Uh, it appears to be all there. There's a lot of pieces. I don't know, there's a hundred pieces in there. If you know what this is, if you know where it came from, um, the lady thought Thailand, Vietnam, uh, the Orient, um, India. If you know what it is, where it's from, get a hold of sharpensbest.com because we'd sure like to know. This is Brad, sharpensbest.com. Take care. We'll see you later. When you're metal detecting and things like that, panning for gold. You're, you got the family out, you got the children with you, older kids, 20, 30 year old kids, you know, I'm 62 years old. My daughters are uh, 38, uh, 39 and 40, well 38 and 39 I guess. And uh, when we go up in the mountains uh, in Wyoming uh, to my aunt and uncle's house for Easter, that's a time when we, we all get together, we all go play and we climb the rock piles and we act like little kids and uh, we take our, my grandson, uh, my granddaughter, and one of the older grandkids. But you know, just being out, uh, if, if you have reason and purpose for this right here, believe it or not, you're in a situation where you're gonna have a family fun time. Uh, you know, get prepared, do the right products, be safe. You know, take some medical supplies with you. You know, you can survive a broken leg, a broken arm. You know, you can get hurt pretty bad. You're gonna live, and then it just builds good stories for later. You know, it really does. Um, the first time I broke my leg, I was seven years old ice skating, and my two brothers and my sister had a lot of fun calling me a ball baby. Uh, get up, ball baby, you know. And of course, they weren't mean. It's just, you know, you fall down so many times. Well, my leg was actually broken completely in two. Uh, the big bone, the little bone down in the shin, and uh, I actually ended up doing the second grade over. Uh, it was a bad deal, it got worse. The doctor didn't catch the little bone broken. Of course, uh, when I was seven and I'm 62 now, so that was a long time ago, I tried sleeping on the table, sleeping on the floor. The bed was too soft, it gave, the, the leg hurt. One day, it was about three to four days later, my stepdad, who was six foot two, about 230 pounds, told my mother, uh, I don't care what he says, Etta, he's going to the hospital. And uh, so I went to the hospital, but you know what? That was the first time, broke it again later. And uh, I've had a lot of bo uh, broken body parts, actually. <laughs> um, but just have fun, get out in the woods, get out in the timber, go swimming, go hiking, find family-oriented things to do. Like I said, if you're doing things, hunting, hiking, camping, fishing, and you actually need products like this, you're doing something fun. Have a good day. You know what makes the world a beautiful place? Beautiful places, okay? Beautiful people and beautiful products. And you know what? The Sharpens Best uh, family, this is called the Long Handle. Uh, my hand's about four and a half inches wide, and it weighs about three quarters of an ounce. And it's got a sharpener on one side, reshaper on the other side. It's made out of tungsten carbide and nylon. Very handy. They don't wear out, they don't break, they don't come apart, they just work. Then another one might be the biggest one. That'd be the Sharpen Spark. The original Sharpen Spark is about probably five and a half inches long by about one inch, five eighths of an inch in diameter. It's got the spark in the handle, the reshaper, and it's got a sharpener here. So what do I mean by the 
fire starter in the handle, well, you unscrew the black cap from the red part, and then you have paint on there, you gotta scratch the paint off. Woo! That's a lot of spark. That's called ferrocerium rod. Ferrocerium rod is a combination of six different types of rare earth metals put together to make spark. So it is like uh, magnesium, it's a little bit different. Then we have the mini, okay, and just a little size comparison, like this right here. That's just out. They're just now starting to be sold in the uh, stores and stuff. The Sharpen Spark Mini has the bottle opener on one end, it's got the fire starter in the handle, it has a reshaping V carbide and a sharpener. Take the bot, excuse me, take the keychain off and put that right in your pocket and take it with you everywhere. And yes, it is just like the bigger one. We call them brothers. Plenty of spark in the handle, so that's a sharpened spark mini. And then we have another one here. That's the rectangle. And it's about two inches by inch and a quarter by about a quarter of an inch thick. You have a reshaper and a sharpener on it. The sharpener is two corners, one over there, one over here. Made out of tungsten carbide, nylon. Very long lasting. I don't know how you wear them out. I've, I've been using some of these uh, six years, and some of them that I've got are 26 years old. They don't wear out. Then we have the poker chip, the round, okay? And you can see in uh, thumb size, that's pretty small. Carry it with you. I take the keychain off, actually the black part too, put it right in my pocket, take it everywhere I go. The Sharp and Spark family, there's five of them now. You know, good products, long lasting, uh, they work for basically forever. There's so many things you can get sharpen with them. They don't break, they don't wear out, they don't come apart, they just work. This is Brad Sharpen's Best. Because you go through your life using all kinds of tools, no matter where you are, whether you're recreation or work or just around home, and things get dull. If you use them, they get dull. It's all there is to it. Sharpening them yourself instead of having to buy new ones or get them sharpened by somebody else is really important because you just get the job done. You continue on with what you're doing. Believe me, you can't sharpen things without the education. And Tired of throwing away all your cutting tools when the blades become dull? Restore their edge quickly and easily instead with the Sharpen Spark and sharpen over 44 types of home, work, and recreational knives, scissors, and garden tools. Go to sharpensbest.com.